jerk. It's crunch time. Well, good evening to the both of you. Of course, we've heard from health officials that the more testing that is done, the more cases of coronavirus virus we should see. Now, as far as Northwestern University today, they also canceled their fundraiser, the Northwestern Dance Marathon. This on top of a growing list. Of Great. And I hear nothing. Just a sec. I can just play from mine if you want, or... Murals to spare, you'll find them everywhere. the remote making a musical. It's just how it is. I remember it was March 11th. It was a Wednesday and we had been in workshop rehearsals that week um, for the show. I was um, in the words printing room because that was my job. I was printing the music and all of a sudden our text message chain went from oh who has this piece of music to like oh my god did you guys just see the email that came out and quickly um everything changed everybody was texting like oh my god we're in the middle of you know the end of the world and oh my god we're not coming back to school and oh my god and i remember texting my cohorts and being like okay yeah this is crazy but who has the opener i need to print it so all I know is that right now I have to print the music because right now we still have a rehearsal to go to. And so we went. I was like, whoa, this, this, like, whoa. this might be the last time I hear this. Like, this might be the last time I hear this show. We were like still planning to have a read through two days later for all of our like guiding mentors of the show we had to cancel that too. We just like demoed all the songs and sent a script and we're just like, hope you guys get a chance to read this before the world ends. I think a lot of us were in shock mostly. And we were looking at ways to basically, you know, rehearse as much as we can and then come back and do the show. Um, and it quickly became obvious to us that that wasn't going to happen. We said, all right, well, let's at least have a finished script and score. Let's still rehearse with the actors so our writers can have the benefit of hearing it out loud. So we're gonna use it more as just a new work workshop. We started looking at this and like, oh, actually, the work that we're doing, we're actually presenting a story here and it's effective. So we went from just having a finished script and score to, okay, let's actually tell a story online. Long rehearsal today. We start at 6.30. Um, we Zoomed. You could still feel the amount of energy that would have been in Khan during this process, but in Khan it's all physically there. So I mean like you have multiple floors and like there's the downstairs lobby which, where a lot of like music rehearsal goes and then there's like people orchestrating in the back. It's like there's stuff happening on the stage with the director like putting things up and then there's stuff being worked on in like the second floor in the like hall. By the third week of rehearsal, it's literally like this entire like city of like stuff happening. What's it like music directing through a screen? <laughs> I, 
I can't I can't speak fondly of this. It's not it's not very fun. <laughs> the first week we were like, we don't even know how to do this. Like exactly. So we were like trying things out and then it was like end of the first week, end of the second week when we were like, oh yeah, we could like put recordings into logic, I guess. And then that ended up being like the whole show relied on that. So what we've discovered is the best way to teach over Zoom is that we like play the piano and we teach the parts, but everybody just keeps themselves muted and sings along because of the delay, nobody can sing together. And so we kind of just have to trust that people are singing the right things. So you start down here. One, two, three, four. And then we send them out to record while scene work is happening. And then they send us the recordings. We layer those into Logic. And those are the recordings of them singing together that we use for the rehearsals and that we will eventually use for the performance. And then they lip sync along. I see something out there, something new and I don't know. Maybe it's what we need. Maybe this is the seed to make our city really grow. Yeah, so just make sure that um, you, maybe this is the seed to make our. So seed isn't as long as you wanted it to be. But other than that, that sounds really great, Martina. Thank you. You know, it's not the same. And there's a lot of people in the cast that I wish I could have gotten to know a little better just because I may or may not have like, I don't have scenes with them. So I don't really have the opportunity to interact with them even over Zoom and maybe in the way that I could in person. Can I? Bruschetta. Do, do you need Napkins, it? wine, the Burgundy Vineyard Chardonnay. It's perfect. <clears throat> Thank you, dear. Now, what were you saying? Nothing. Honey, we're home. Welcome. I'd like you to meet Cordelia, William, and Mrs. Bickle. Uh, this is my lovely wife, Patricia, and our children, Blair and Ty. It's been a long week. The crunch time is upon us. But it's been really good watching um, the cast pick up material and have everyone in the same room Zoom at the same time. It doesn't really feel like we're actually wrapping things up since it's not in the way um, we, for the first however many months, we're expecting to wrap it up. It's gonna be sad. I'm gonna miss yeah, so really this show, thoughts. this process. This is our last Monday rehearsal, our last week of rehearsals. So it's gonna be a time. Yeah, it's crazy that I've spent a year working on, you know, this show and now there's an end to it in sight. We have this like deadline that we created for ourselves to finish it, but um, of course that was kind of a, um, what's the word for like a number that you just pick instead of it having like an actual motivation? Random? No, like, Starts with an A, maybe? Arbitrary. Yeah, so we have this May 1st deadline that we've set for ourselves, but that's pretty arbitrary. It's opening day, or it's what would have been opening day, May 1st. I think if we were at school right now, um, it would have been a late night last night, just getting everything together. We would have been frantically doing reprints today, but Hopefully not too many. I'm gonna get all dressed up for the Zoom later. It's gonna be great. I was so nervous. And I, <laughs> I was sweating. I was so worried about the tech element in terms of like, okay, what if internet just shuts down on somebody? Thank you for all being here in this green room today or blue room or green screen room, whatever you want to call it. We had a little moment in the green room together that was really cool to have us all in one space to say, hey, look what we did. 
take a second to appreciate all the hard work that it went into this and then simply just tell the story. Thank you. Happy opening. Break legs. Act one, scene one, Dalesworth Central Square. A crew of construction workers enter and put a cover over a beautiful mural featuring a tree and its roots. As they exit, Ash enters with a spray can in her hand. Out of the long dark night comes the dawn. There's so much underneath the city we're standing on, but few understand, and it's a shame to me, to the people that live here now, how it came to be is a mystery. It's really history. So here's the gist, you see. The city's a sham of what it used to be about. Over 20 years ago in 2020s when we got pushed out of our home and my mom's shop that brought us up. The tycoon saw a cash crop and bought it up. But don't get caught up in the past and the sorrow. Rebuild the best of yesterday with the best of tomorrow. And today's already begun. What was done is yeah. not done. Yeah. When you're fighting for your home, the battle has to be won. This city used to be ours. 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 We say this for every show we do, but it's not really about the product. It's about the process. I got alumni texts, you know, saying things like, oh, that's totally the part that I would have played. And they felt involved in the show because they could tune in from anywhere. And I think, especially now, that was really important. To, that we were invited into people's homes. We need art right now. We need art. Even when things are great in the world, we still need art. So in the grander skip, uh, picture of things, we needed this to keep going. They're fighting back, great, so they see us as a threat. A beautiful thing to watch them all sweat. Don't start celebrating, wait, not yet. They're cracking down on spray cans, aerosol, latex, confiscating contraband, cop us off with bag checks, can't tag nothing, can't tag a single wall if they're breathing down our necks over there in City Hall. So they're stepping up patrol, that's their goal, control, but there's no way in hell that will ever let them make us quiet. They can raise an iron fist, but we can secretly resist. Man, I wanna see him try it. This city's where we belong. 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 Dalesworth, what you gonna do?